Hey guys, I'm Jan here to the occasion, and today we're seeding a bloom in it. So we have Iolanthus, Storm, Thule, Invio, and Thule. That's right, we have the Thule brothers. Yeah, more, more Thule you. Let's go. This cathedral appears in fine condition. Are you quite sure your prognosticars detected signs of the bloom within? Certainty. Ministerium communications have been silenced since our arrival. This edifice stands as a tribute to our righteous emperor. Brothers, we must remove these foul seeds from this holy place. Uh, stomped around here in a dreadnought before. That'll be fun. All right, there's a seed there. It's blue. Um, so we do have uh, the extract skull on him, don't we? Yes, we do. In VO's got it. By Jove. Also, I need to watch out for these. Don't I? Yeah, sure do. All right, we need to leave a gap. Well, anywhere. You know, what is we your leave a gap wherever. Moving swiftly. I am here to serve. They're probably just going to teleport, so it's... Uh, but whatever. Alright, in you go. Boop. Okay, okay. Oh. Great opening gambit. Crush yourself with a pillar. Hilarious. He's going to destroy all the cover. Just everything's destroyed. Uh, okay, so we have to activate a support fire, which is a bit annoying. Um, how much is it? God, it's two willpower. That is really disappointing. It's a shame it doesn't just have support fire, you know. They look quite like an ancient charge somebody, so I can uh, teleport in and get an execution, you know. Uh, let's do that, because he might get knocked into the fire, which I think would be funny. Go, man, go. <laughs> yeah, I do, do, do. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Alright, Doomfist. Uh, let's see. I mean, I could actually get a couple of stuns, couldn't I? It'd be a shame not to. So, forget, um... Get doing the old uh, thing of a jig. Support fire. No point. No, we're having a stun party. Uh, I wonder. I mean, I could reach this guy, get the execution. He'll get a bunch of extra AP. Everyone will end up with so much. Well, alright, they'll end up with five AP, so I can't afford just to move. It would save me a lot of willpower. But, Gate of Infinity. It's just a lot cooler, isn't it? It is a lot cooler, although I could just have um, Standing ready. Storm moving. He serve. only needs to move forward a bit to start shooting. I and Iolanthus is also here. Okay, I think I can probably afford just to run in and get the executions. Because, yeah, he's got Endbringer, remember. So he gets a lot of bonus AP for getting an execution. Everyone gets one, but he gets like three every time he does this. Yeah, there you go, three AP. And now he's about to get some more. Yeah. Keep going. So now everyone should be on five, right? Oh, that only triggers once. Oh, because I guess it's an auto, right? Hang on. Yeah, these guys all have five. Okay, that's a bit strange. Because he should have got one AP for the execution at least. So I guess Endbringer is sort of a one and done thing. You get like a huge amount all at once, but that doesn't stack. And it actually stops you from stacking the rest. That's really weird. But interesting. Huh. Uh. Well, let's extract. 
Good. And Standing ready. Storm. Storm. My blade is you. Yes, I wonder. All right, let's get you in over here, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, let's get over here. And we got more AP. Good. And we did get the crit. Uh, oh, I have one health. One health if we got armor pierced. That's a shame. I'll just chop his arm off. Alright, good stuff. And he got an AP for the crit as well, so he's still on 4 AP. Jesus. Alright, see if you can't kill this as well. Oh, no, he didn't. He's a failure. And, oh my word. Okay, I'll get him down to one health. <laughs> we'll chop his arm off. Let's, let's disarm him. It's just funnier. It's just funnier. That's just... It's just science. Okay, Invio also has all of his willpower back. How does he have all of his willpower? Oh, because he didn't teleport everyone in, obviously. Doi. We slay the darkness! Yeah, I'm gonna shoot this guy and support fire with him. Alright, so we managed to get through all that with uh, three characters. Two guys just... didn't. <laughs> they just didn't participate. Incredible. And that is... I mean, I did complain in the last episode, you know, that it's a shame that you can't string together a load of um, executions uh, in normal missions, but having... Crass here it really shows that yeah it's ludicrously overpowered. We're fighting double sized, um, you know, pods, and if we could just like throw a grenade to stun a couple of plague marines, like we could in standard difficulty, that's basically what he accomplished was just getting a couple of stuns, you know, so everyone else could get a bunch of AP. We had two characters who didn't even participate in that, and we killed a double sized pod, so you know. It's a bit bad. Oh no, you did it. Oh, flipping heck. Oh, okay, well now we're actually in trouble. I'm so surprised they had line of sight. Like, that's genuinely a problem. Because we're far too far away. Because we're not going to be able to reach anyone to stun them, especially not with this perk here. That's disappointing. Unleash me! Alright, I'll unleash you, just give me a minute. Hey, I can't even see if you're in range. Alright, you're in range if I put you over here. So you get behind the full cover. And we are going to astrolane this bad boy. Good warp charge. Yeah. Sometimes it kills him, sometimes it doesn't. Because sometimes that damage to himself from the explosion happens once, sometimes it happens twice, it's really weird. Alright, he's got one health left. But, I think... Did he hit anyone else? No, he managed to not hit anyone else somehow. Interesting. Well, okay then. Uh, well, there's IQ tech up there, so we need to go get it. Uh, that is still saying he's going to get attacked. Why? You're going to run through that, aren't you? For God's sake. Uh, really? Unbelievable. Alright, if I move... Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I could move all the way there, but that will explode a bunch of things. I just I can't get to it. I just can't. I just can't get to it. At your service. Um, you get my full cover over here, can't you? So yeah, I think we could just get here, and I can probably kill him. And these guys, they have, um, suppressive fire. They've got the blight grenades as well, which is a bit annoying. But they don't, you know, they can't destroy cover. He might be able to. Dude back there, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I think this is full cover, and hopefully we won't activate them. That would be a pain. Alright. 
So I can do a couple damage to this guy. Yeah, if I get a crit, I might get AP back, which would let me attack him again and move into heavy going. So we could risk that. Direct my vengeance. Don't know why I thought he was going to say direct violence. <laughs> oh my god, just, just, come on. Alright, I'm going to move you there. He's going to get hit quite hard, I think. By all of these other, other folk running around. So, my twin Laz cannon. Here. Then we're pretty good. Yeah, pretty, basically perfect odds to get the kill. Um, so that's fine. So hit him with the last cannon. Good. No, oh, add support fire, of course. Yeah, now he's very dead. I guess Invio could teleport everyone in. I mean, I could have just teleported everyone, actually. That would have actually saved me a lot of hassle. It's just I wouldn't have been able to get the execution, you see. Uh, it's probably not worth it now, because these guys have a lot of health left. I don't really want to mess with. Um, so, I can smite him. I can smite him. I just kill him. Immediately, which is pretty awesome. What is your will? Alright, he'll be able to get the kill. Yes. And he got additional AP, which is rather nice. Um I could just shoot at him, but there's not really much point, is there? Come on. I wonder. I mean I can definitely just get the kill with the smite. I love smite, it's so good. Just guaranteeing damage like that is marvellous. It's really satisfying. Still exploding. Can't help it. Just, it loves exploding. Just loves it. Alright, let's get you behind heavy cover. Sure are, buddy. Uh, so you can't... Oh, you can get over there. Should I teleport him up here on his own? I think that's worthwhile. Can't quite reach. That's a shame. All right, you stay where you are. I think everyone's good with it. I am here to serve. Except Iolanthus, who's nowhere. So maybe I should move him up too. He has to run through flames. Great. Uh, can move into there. Here, maybe. Because I don't want everyone to get grenaded. You see. So I don't want to be lining everyone up close. Yeah, if I wasn't getting caught on fire by going through there, I'd definitely go through there. Um, I mean, we're probably going to go over there next, right? They're not moving, are they? No, good. There's so many blue uh, seeds to get a hold of here, which is great. Really good news for us. Alright, moving on. I do love that he gets willpower every turn. Although I do also hate it that willpower is... Darkness we thrive. He's very thirsty for the willpower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. And uh, that pod is moving towards us. Luckily these guys are all moving down here too. If I teleport on top of them, I'm free to kill them all. Yeah, our armor's holding. Alright, we took a little bit of damage. Nothing major. Um, so if I use Ancient's Charge, I can close the gap and probably stun that guy. I'm a little worried about activating them as well as them, though. But teleporting on top of the enemy, we should probably be pretty good here, right? Especially if we get an execution. So a little risky, but I'm doing it. Also, I'm pretty sure that's going to knock down and land on top of myself. Yeah. Sure did. Alright. Oh, it's so far away. Yeah, of course it will. Vengeance is always yours, mate. Can't get enough of it. Uh, can I Doom Strike? No, I can't Doom Fist him as well. That's a real pity that I can't. That is a real pity. But, 
nice easy kill on a Terminator by stunning him there, which is nice. I enjoy that. Uh, and then do I want a support fire? Big heavy flamer. Nope, can't hit a thing. I could reload, that's exciting. Oh, that's a point. Support fire will only... Um... Hang on, where's my ammo? Yeah, we have three ammo left, so I'll only do... And that's only doing two damage. I'll do six extra damage with support fire, which is a bit rubbish, to be honest. Um, I'm better off just shooting someone, aren't I? I could astral aim and do some serious work to that guy. That could be fun. Yeah, alright, let's do it. What am I destroying? Oh, I could put up a stun meter, that'd be fun. Armor break could be good. Um, there's a few other bits and bobs I could do. Let's armor break. Nice. Alright. Now. I'm definitely going to activate this pod. This is going to get a bit crazy. Like, probably more than a bit crazy. I want to teleport, like, up here, maybe. I don't know who will end up here and who will end up down here, though. But, uh, we'll find out. Oh, that's Storm. Ooh, Ooh silly me. Wow, that was a close one. Alright, let's start with teleporting up here. Good. Boom. And, yep, there they are. <laughs> oh my god. This is fun. I know this is crazy risky, just like activating so many pods. But, isn't it exciting? I think so. How many seeds does he have anyway? Three. He's got three. He's got three. So yeah, we seem to be getting three per per guy, which is pretty great. So, you know, twelve, maybe? End up twelve at the end of this mission. Which is rather good. Okay, good stuff. So, we are going to give everyone additional crits. Brilliant. And we'll probably give someone extra AP. We could also dominate anyone who ends up um, alive at the end of this. Uh, we could even dominate this guy, you know. The big damage sponge that he is. Uh, these two we can kill pretty easily, just with a crit. Uh... Oh, there's orders. our Purgator. Okay. Um, he's still got 3 AP. This would give him plenty more. And everyone else. So, execute. Okay, good. And, uh, yeah, so he's got 3 AP back, so he's got plenty. Um, Smite can't quite kill these, which is a shame. If we had a Disruptor Skull, we could sort of finish it off. I hate that the Dreadnought doesn't get extra AP from executions and stuff. It's such a shame. Yes, such a pity. Uh, so if I do this... Uh, uh, I'll destroy this cover and kill him. I think that's going to fly. Praise the Emperor. Which is a pity. So Astral Aim I can use to wipe out one of them. I can shoot this down and hit a couple as well. How much damage does this do again? Six damage. It's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. And if it knocks him further over here, I can follow up with a um, Psychic Onslaught as well, which would be pretty good. So, yeah. I mean, 12 damage with one hit, I think, is pretty good. Although, we are getting bonus crit shots, so. No, oh, that wasn't perfect. Uh, and we don't have the big Psychic Onslaught today. But I can hit these three, which is pretty good. Did yeah, I'll give it a go. Nice. Okay, I like that. Now I can... Get in closer over here. Oh, he'll explode once he's dead, which could be a problem if I don't wipe out the rest of the enemy, so I might dominate him. Well, we'll stop bothering him for now and try and wipe out everyone else. Unless he's immune to being dominated. We should check that, actually. Uh, panic Plague and Knockback. Not domination. Good. 
In that case, let's burn through some of this AP. We're going to get a bunch of it back, so it's not a problem. Okay, good. And I could knock this over, which would kill that guy. Oh, look how close it is to hitting both of them. Alright, I guess I'll just hit them. Oh, I could also hit that. Uh, but how much damage does that do when it blows up? I can't check, but I think it's five. But yeah, getting the kill here is pretty hilarious. So there goes one. Oh, and I think that did blow up, did it? Good. Good, that did blow up. Uh, now... I mean, that guy's nearly dead. He's behind heavy cover, though, isn't he? I mean, 100% chance to crit, so he's dead, basically. Hopefully we'll roll the reload. So Thul can shoot someone else. He got the reload. He got the auto reload. No match for the Emperor's chosen. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, again, I can crit him. I can crit him too. I can crit him. All right, I'll leave Thul for now because we do have this guy's five moves. High uh four. Probably start with a hammer hand. Do we even need to start with a hammer hand? We have 85% chance to crit. Or it's just attack him twice, right? Yeah, I think he's going to attack him twice. I'm not sure what the follow-up will be for Iolanthus, though. Probably giving someone else the AP. You know? Or a support fire. So I could armor break, decide his melee weapon. Yeah, instead of his melee weapon. It's just it's very satisfying to do that. Good. And then, uh, let's kill him. So, two AP left. Sorry, three AP left. Incredible. Uh, so I could kill him in melee. And then shoot someone. No, I think it's probably better if I just give someone a million Storm. AP, right? So Storm still has two AP. Um, Invio still has a bunch. Smite obviously has infinite range. Which is quite good. <laughs> Quite good. Quite good. It's, it's alright here, having infinite range. It's, you know, it's fine. Uh, Someone used Astral Aim. I can hit him with an Astral Aim, so I can, I can kill him as well. That's probably worthwhile. So let's do that. And because he got a crit, he just got another... another willpower back. Oh my word. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, shoot that guy maybe? That would weaken him quite a bit. Maybe allow for a, a cheeky follow up the support fire to kill him, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. How much damage are we doing? We're doing 11. And he has 13. 16 technically. So support fire should get the kill. I think it's a good use of support fire. Boom. Thul just got another AP back for the crit. Incredible. Okay, this guy next, I guess? I could Psychic Onslaught and kill him as well. Oh my god, our, our party is just so good. Unbelievable. I've still not even used Honor the Chapter yet. I mean, this was two double pods. Oh, actually, sorry. It was two double pods and the leftover pod, double pod from here. It was two extra Terminators. So, four pods and two Terminators. It's basically five pods. We just fought off five pods. I mean, okay, I say we've fought off five pods. We haven't technically done it yet. But, I mean... Come on. Like, seriously. Iolanthus still has 3 AP. God, this is ridiculous. So yeah, he could just shoot that guy a couple times, get the kill. And then give someone else, you know, on the chapter. It's so, alright, Storm, finish him off. No demon shall avoid uh, fate. You only have 1 AP now. That's fine. We're not going to activate them by running over here, are we? I don't think so. And we haven't even teleported yet, so I could actually teleport here, and that might trigger 
getting an additional AP. I want to see if he can do this on his own. Ah, <laughs> oh, he didn't get the extra AP. Look, that's fine, okay? That's not a problem. Okay, that's not a problem. We're going to give him an extra couple. This is so absurd, and I love it. Uh, if I fall strike, he's dead in one hit. Crazy. I'm going to attack him twice, though. Uh, let's drop his arm off. There's no point using the uh, willpower. Alright, so he's still got all of his willpower as well, it's worth saying. He's he's only got five. He's only got two. So we have used a lot of willpower, but I mean... To wipe out five pods worth of enemies, yeah, I'll use a bit of willpower. We still have enough willpower to teleport, like, to Gate of Infinity a second time. So, you know, still absurd. Alright, let's get, um... Yeah, I could just smite him, and then shoot him. I could just shot him twice, just, I just like using smite. Yeah, there we go. Unbelievable. Just insane. Uh, so we're gonna run up here with Inbio so we can grab this. And he should be able to teleport everyone in in a second. Although I guess uh, I'll have to get, go in here and just grab the architect now. That's right, I hadn't forgotten. We just only wiped out that pod this turn. Oh dear. Alright, uh, I can go right around the corner with our dreadnoughts. Standing ready. So, oh no, really? We are here. Ready oh, that's disappointing. Yourself. All right, Dreadnought's nowhere to be seen. It's all right, I'll teleport everyone else on top. We don't need the Dreadnought. Probably. They didn't see me here. Gods, watch over me. Enemy sighted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's a pain. What's the plan? We have no willpower. We have no willpower. So he can't really do anything. So I guess I'll just move him up as much as I can in a minute. Uh, so... Let's teleport over here. Oop. I still haven't used the 2 AP stratagem either. So I could, I'm still in a position to get extra AP from stratagems. I'm not going to be able to stun anyone here though, it's a shame. That's all of them, Commander. However, I sense there are disturbances in the warp below. Yeah, yeah. The tech priest will extract your brothers shortly. Do your best to keep them alive. I think we get blown up by that chap. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, they are gonna seek retribution, alright. They do that. Cheeky sods. Uh that's a lot of reinforcements too. It's a little, a little intimidating. A little intimidating. It wouldn't be, but I haven't finished dealing with these guys yet. Uh, so if I knock that over, we should be fine, I think. Uh, I could stand there, and that would knock this on top of all of my team, which is pretty great. Love that. Um, but actually, I could kill him, potentially. As long as everyone else moves, which would be pretty good. That's not a bad hit. Would that knock this over onto him as well? Maybe. So I think uh, Psychic Onslaught might be the way to go with him. Just because I mean, there's a lot of enemies, aren't there? Alright, that'll hit them instead. I think that one's weaker, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll go for him then. I think these are the best ones to hit. Alright, a couple of them are enraged. Uh, what are your chances of critting? 100%. Oh my god. That lasts for a couple turns, doesn't it? No, nope, one turn. We're still on the same turn. Oh my god. This is so obnoxious. I, I absolutely adore it. 